find the measure of x. So it looks like I forgot to include the diagram's parallel lines. Okay, so we have two parallel lines here and a transversal. So we could have some properties already given to us. Okay. Looks like both the values are outside of the uh, parallel lines. So that takes away the majority of what we have. They're both outside of it. And they're on opposite sides of the transversal. One's on the left, one's on the right. Based off the visual of it, they're both um, equal to, or both have the same measure based off the visual. So it looks like we're working with alternate exterior angles. Alternate exterior angles are equal to one another, so we have 26 equals 25x plus 5. That seems like a pretty quick one. Based off what we need to do, let's get the coefficients together. So I subtract 25x to both sides, subtract 25x to both sides, cancels, we're left with x equals 5. x equals 5. To check our work, what we could do is we can just plug in this x equals 5 to here and to here. I'm going to use that equation that we started with because we knew it was equal. So all we're going to do is just plug our numbers in and go from there to see if we did this right. 26, oops, 26 times 5 equals 25 times 5 plus 5. Have a hunch this is...